Hey guys, welcome back. Did you guys like that intro? Because I sure did. All right, all right, guys, let's get this started. I'm gonna start by priming my skin using my photo finish primer, my favorite primer of all time. I'm gonna tap it into my skin. Do not rub it into your skin or else you're going to remove product off your skin. Then I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I'm actually using a product that I never used before. This is the NYX Micro Thin brow pencil i believe it's what it's called i don't know um but i actually like this product it's really really lightweight um and i'm just going just to fill in um any of the gaps and then i'm going to go back i'm going to go with my nyx uh i believe this is like a pomade um like a gel pomade but i'm just going to use this to darken up my eyebrows i'm only going to use it for the outer corners though And y'all know me, this, I gotta use my Painterly Paint Pot um, eyeshadow base from MAC. This is my Ride or Die product. I'm going to use it all over my eyelid and set it using a translucent powder to set. And taking Nylon by MAC, I'm going to set it as my brow highlight. And then um, starting off with the crease, I'm taking Soft Brown Eyeshadow from MAC. With a blending brush, I'm just going to add it to my crease just as a transition color. It's a really soft color, so... I'm just going to have it just transitioning from the brow highlight to my crease. Now taking Saddle by MAC, I'm going to use the same blending brush just to add it to the lower part of my crease just to add more depth and to define the crease a little bit more. And I'm going to do wipey motions just to blend the transition color and Saddle together. Now taking Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm taking a more defined blending brush. This is the Morphe 441 brush and I'm going to define the crease even more by adding a more orangey tone color eyeshadow. So since we are doing a dark eyeshadow look, you're going to do an ombre look starting from light to dark from the top to bottom. So we're going to take a dark brown eyeshadow. This is Embark for MAC. And I'm taking the same blending brush and I'm just going to add it even lower because we're going to use black on the eyelid. We want to transition from light to dark and um, making sure everything is completely blended out. Now taking any black gel that you have, I am using my Black Track Gel Liner from MAC and I'm taking this blending brush to add it to my eyelid. The reason why I'm using a blending brush instead of a flat shader brush is because you want to transition the eyelid color to the crease. If you had used a flat shader brush on the eyelid, you would have had to um, go back anyways with the blending brush to blend the eyelid to the crease. So the blending brush, it just does the work for you without having to do an extra step and it also um, makes sure that everything is completely blended out and it works just the same so I like using um, a blending brush when you are using an eyeshadow base on your eyelid to give your um, eyelid more color So because I want to make my eyeshadow look hella good, I'm going to go back and forth and blend everything out. So whenever you add color to your eyelid or to your crease, you're going to want to go back in to blend it out because you want everything to blend in together. You don't want there to be any harsh lines. So here I'm using black eyeshadow. This is from MAC. I believe the color is carbon. And taking a flat shader brush and pecking it on the lid. And then I'm going to go back in with the blending brush and blending the crease color. Now taking Dirty Martini by Morphe Brushes, I'm taking a flat shader brush and packing this on the center of the lid. Technically, we're doing a halo effect, so just focus this on the middle of the eyelid. And to make the eyeshadow pop even more, I'm going to take Telepathy from ColourPop. This is a super stock shadow. I love this because it so pigmented i'm taking my finger to apply it on my eyelid and then going back with carbon just to blend in the black with the color because again we don't want any harsh lines but honestly guys if you guys haven't tried color pop eyeshadows i highly suggest you to invest in some eyeshadows they're not even that expensive they're really cheap they believe it's like five dollars per eyeshadow but it won't disappoint, trust me. Moving on to foundation. I'm using my Milani foundation with my Forever Forever 21. My <laughs> Makeup Forever foundation. And for fuller effect, I'm using my brush first and then just blending it together using my booty bender. For concealer, I'm taking my favorite concealer from MAC. 
This is the Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. Uh, man, nothing special here. Just applying it on. Doo -doo -doo. And then I'm going to go back in with my booty blender and blending it out. By the way, this is my favorite way to apply concealer. I'm using a synthetic brush um, and just taking it out towards the eyeshadow as you can see it just cleans out um, any of the fallen eyeshadow and then I'm going to low-key bake using my fair Ben Eye powder and my beauty blender and uh, I don't like baking because I feel like sometimes it makes it makes my skin feel like it's just too cakey but I'm just gonna leave it in for like not even a minute like probably like just 10 seconds and then just wiping it off my face using a any brush that you have is fine um, to set my foundation I'm going to take my hello flawless powder this is full coverage guys uh, I already have full coverage foundation I don't even know why I chose to do full coverage powder but I think it's because it's a new product that I am now testing and I wanted to record it make its debut on YouTube you know anyways um, to contour and bronze, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium, I believe. And I'm using this angled fluffy uh, brush from MAC. And then obviously going back with my Beauty Blender to blend everything out. Um, honestly guys, Beauty Blenders are life. They are the way to succeed in life. Yay, y'all like the beat? Hey, this... This music is low-key popping. To, <laughs> to contour my nose, I am going to use the same Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit with a fluffy shader brush. And then I'm going to make a more detailed tutorial on how to properly contour your nose because honestly, I've learned so much. Using Feline Black Eyeliner Pencil, I'm going to put it on my waterline and I'm going to smudge it out using Dirty Martini eyeshadow from Morphe and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Um, we're going to go with the pop of color on the lower lash line. I decided to do green so we're going to add a lot of green eyeshadow on the bottom. I'm going to go in with um, Lucky Green eyeshadow from MAC as well and I'm just going to layer the green on the bottom. Um, basically just smudging out the black eyeliner just to uh, have a gradient effect. To make my shadow pop even more, I'm going to add some glitter since we're in the holidays. It's almost Christmas, you know. I'm actually using brow gel to act as a glue and it works perfectly fine. Honestly, guys, this is like the most brilliant idea I've ever come across. Um, and I'm going to use this Reflex Gold Glitter from MAC. It came with the holiday set, the pigment set from MAC. Um, and I'm just going to apply it to the center of my eyelid. Going back with my black track gel liner, I'm going to make my under lash line darker by adding some more eyeliner to my waterline. And I'm going to smudge it out. Basically, we're going to set the waterline using a gel liner. This is actually really perfect, you guys. If you guys don't know that trick, try using gel liner on your waterline. For mascara, I'm using Tarte Tarteist Mascara. And this is currently my favorite mascara at the moment because it literally gives my eyelashes more volume and it makes my mascara look completely black. For blush, I'm using Warm Soul Blush and unfortunately, I didn't record this part. But moving on to eyelashes, I'm using Violet Voss Lashes in the style Wispy My Name. And these are really pretty eyelashes once you put them on. But I've been using Eyelash Duo for a while and I hate how it leaves like a white effect on your on your lash line. So I'm going to go back in with the gel liner just to disguise the lash line and to make it darker. Because you don't want that white lash line. For my inner tear duct, I'm giving it a little bit of color using Telepathy from ColourPop. Same color that we use for our eyelid. Moving on to lips, I'm using Oak Lip Pencil from MAC. And I'm using this as a base, basically just to define my lips. Because I'm going to use a liquid lipstick, which is a nude color. And adding a lip pencil is going to define your lip a little bit more. And I'm using Milani liquid lipstick in color chromatic attic and honestly guys i was a little bit hesitant to use this color because it's a metallic finish but i actually ended up liking how it came out i actually wanted even more metallic lips so i went in with mac tan pigment you'll see in just a moment because i wanted my lips to pop even more i mean guys it's the holidays it's all or nothing so make a good impression go all out who cares if you 
wear glitter eyes and metallic lips. Let them hate. Let the haters hate. Okay guys, this is the final result. Hope you guys like it. I want to see you guys recreate this look. Happy holidays and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like.